Hello again. Um, here I am with my smiling rig, which I've updated um, to include some facial expressions. Now, these are based on Scott McCloud's Making Comics book, which is a book about making comics, funnily enough. But um, I think that there's a lot of relevant information for animation as well there, obviously, because comics are kind of like storyboards in a way. Um, a few of the pages which I've scanned and I'll be putting on the forum are about facial expressions and how they're made of six base expressions. So I've created base expressions here, as he describes in his book. Um, he's got some screenshots on the page of some drawings of these expressions. So what I've done is tried to make the expressions fit my character. And as you'll see here I've created a pie chart and as these get to the center you'll get to a hundred percent of an expression so as I bring it down its intensity is increasing to what eventually at the center is what my action actually was so I created this face for anger and then I can actually change the intensity of anger just by bringing it closer to the center so I'll show you each of them. This is disgust, fear, joy, sadness, and surprise. And as well as having these, I um, included closing the mouth and blinks and, well, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so one way to mix these together is to move the control bone but then obviously it's only mixing the ones that are in a particular corner together uh, based on the radius of this circle. So what I like to do as I showed in the other animation is I can mix them by putting mild anger with fear to create a custom sort of face and as I intensify one or the other it becomes angry and fearful at the same time and there's a few formulas on the pages which I've scanned um, which you can have a look at but for example I'm just looking down at the page to look at, to create devastation it's made of fear and sadness so I'll include fear and sadness and he's starting to look pretty devastated now <laughs> um, and something different let's see sadness and surprise makes disappointment so if I get rid of fear put sadness put surprise and suddenly he looks more disappointed so I think this is a really really good way of um, creating facial expressions Obviously you can, as normal, rotate these bones if you preferred. That's 100% surprise. And if you rotate them, you can also rotate them further than 100%, which makes very strange effects sometimes. Or in reverse, which is the opposite of surprise. Anger. I can make anger more extreme than I originally intended. <laughs> or less. And same with the, the rest extreme disgust more than I thought 100% disgust would be. So you get the idea. Basically you can use these to create loads of different facial, facial expressions. Um, now the way that um, this script mixes um, things is really great for, for this as well because like here I've created a look up and down and I know that if I go further than this line or this line, then it starts looking weird. So I've created a bone and I've put a, an angle constraint on it, so I can't actually go past these extremes. Um, but what you'll notice is that it will mix um, the pose with my rotation of the face. So you can look disgusted and look up and down. Um, and obviously you can animate this, so uh, I shouldn't have done that, but there we go, look, I'll, I'll change 
like that here. And introduce sadness and a bit of surprise. And now as I, you'll have to excuse the head moving across the uh, the page, that wasn't intended, but you you'll see that the faces are really gently changing between one and the other based on the movement of the bones. So, um, you know, this was just a quick little thing. Um, I'm going to upload the pages to the forum, so come to Rudiger's script um, forum post and see if you can find it in there. It's like 10 plus pages long now. Um, cheers, I'll come back soon with some more techniques that I work out and um, I hope this was helpful.